Hey guys, so today I'm kind of going to do a swatch and review of Pretty Perfect Polish. Now, Pretty Perfect Polish is a UK brand who is branching out to the US. And lo and behold, I am going to be the one that is shipping out for Pretty Perfect Polish in the US. So, um, Megan went ahead and sent these to me. Um... You know so i can have a little experience on the product and whatnot um some pre-orders have gone out already uh if you were one of the pre-orders i'd love to um hear your thoughts and see what you think of them uh now megan is having her launch date her official launch date uh, in October I don't remember the date exactly but I want to say maybe the third second third um, I know she's waiting on supplies um, and um, we got to get me another shipment and everything so I will list the pretty perfect UK website the pretty perfect US website and all of Megan's social media down below as well as this unofficial official launch date um, for the US. So I have one, two, three, nine, I believe, polishes. So let's go ahead and get swatching. Okay, so this first one up is Infinite Galaxy. And if there's any of these that you would like, because I don't, I think she's going to have a limited variety on the U.S. site um, in the beginning. If there's any of these that you love and you would love her to stock on the U.S. site, uh, leave a comment down below. Or you can always um, leave a comment on her U.S. Instagram, which will be listed below. So here's Infinite Galaxy very pretty megan likes to use a lot of ultra hollow so unfortunately a lot of that's not going to show right now under my lighting but they're very nice so this is and i don't know exactly what's in these but this to me is a navy blue and it looks like it has some um flakies in there some chameleon flakies obviously there's hollow in there so, yeah, let's go ahead and swatch it. Okay, so here's one coat of Infinite Galaxy. It's a little sheer, so I'll be able to see better what's in it. Okay, so yeah, there are definitely flakies in there along with the hollow. It also looks like, and it could just be the flakies, but it also looks like there's a pink shimmer in it. Not sure. <laughs> but it's gorgeous. Next one up um, is Sapphire Galaxy. And this is, of course, a silver ultra hollow with sapphire blue flakies. At least I believe it's an ultra hollow. You can always go to her website and look at the descriptions. If I had another device next to me, I would look them up and let you know for sure. But don't. And again, I'm unprepared. So... Here is one coat of Sapphire Galaxy. Okay. Sapphire Galaxy. Next up is one of my favorites. This is Eternal. And of course, it's a blue with pink shimmer. And naturally, it's got that hollow. So this is like a sky blue. Okay. Hmm. Out of the other two, I don't know. This one smells sweeter. It's not scented, but it, it just smells sweet. <laughs> okay, so there is one coat of... 
eternal. This next one. Oh, this next one. I covet this one. I don't even like this watch. This one. This one is Edge of the Abyss H, which means hollow. And this is a green scattered hollow. Duo chrome. It goes to purple. Might be a multi-chrome. You're not seeing it really here. But it goes to a purple to like a blue. It's gorgeous. So there you can kind of see right in there. It's like the blue purple. Beautiful. This does not need to go over black. This is pretty opaque. It's kind of like a tealy color. In its first coat. And it's also got some shimmer in there as well. That's beautiful. Okay, so the next one up. I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm going to pronounce it how I, I, well, I want to spell pronounce it because I don't want to pronounce it the other way because it's gross. Um, and I, I don't think this is a prototype. I think she actually has it because I've seen her mixing it on her Instagram. So I'm saying that this is, her name was Pousset. I don't know the reference. Um, I don't know what it's from. Uh, I don't watch a lot of series, shows, um, so yeah, I don't know what this is, but this is a very light blue, almost silver holographic, and it's got some, um, holo are they holographic flakies, they look like they're blue holographic flakies, again, please look at her website for the correct color descriptions, um, because, yeah, I'm not a very good salesperson when it comes to colors and describing them and stuff. Here it is on the brush. And here is one coat on the nail. So it is a very light, pale blue. And it's one of those flakies. Okay, next up, we have Always, and this is a bright purple. This and Eternal were from her Neon and On collection. This is a blue flash with that holographic shimmer, or sorry, holographic scattered. Yeah, I could talk today. I need more coffee. <laughs> All right, so here is one coat of Always. And the only one that I'm missing from this collection, oh no, I'm sorry, it's not the only one I'm missing. The only one I'm missing that I want is the pink. Okay, this next one, again, I'm not, I don't think this is a prototype. I think she's going to be releasing this. This is Blue Lagoon, and it's a light pale blue metallic. And it's actually true to color to this on, this is, I think from, from laying, that's all of the silver flaky metallic against the wall. Not all of it, but there's a lot of it. So this is more true to color right there. And there's the brush. And this is super metallic. And here is one coat of a blue lagoon. I don't believe there's brush strokes in it from the first time I swatched it. 
I think those brush strokes go away. Next up, we have Sapphire. And if you were following me on my uh, September Sapphires, you'll see I wore this. This is a thermal. It goes to a very, very pale blue. And I won't be able to show you that here because, you know, it's not on a nail. It's only on a plastic wheel. So here's one coat of sapphire. And this is almost kind of jelly consistency. I hate when I do that with the brush. It will dry down a little textured and a little matte. Um, I do have one here because I did wear it. So this is without a top coat. Let me see if I can rub it. Yeah, it doesn't want to change. <laughs> so. But it does change nicely on your nail. And if you see mine on Instagram, you'll see the transition. Next up is Baby's Got Blue Eyes. Can you see a trend? You know I love blue. And this is just a... Um, pale blue scattered hollow. Two to three coats, this will be okay. So here's one coat of baby scat blue eyes. Very pretty. Lastly, um, sadly, I had to decant this into a different bottle because um, one of the bottles came in broken. And it, rather than shipping that broken one out to a paying customer, I kept it. But I can't have a broken bottle laying around either because Baby Pony's reaching for stuff. And God forbid she reached for it and cut herself. So I just decanted it. So don't pay attention to the bottle. I did, however, remove her sticker. And this is Rainbow River. And it's not going to show up as brilliant because it's a frosted bottle. Or is it a frosted bottle? Maybe it's not a frosted bottle. It's just the tape I put on it. But this is just a silver linear hollow. Very hollow. Um, so there is on the brush. And the bottle wasn't broken to the point where any product leaked out. Um, so the consistency and everything is perfectly fine. I didn't have to add thinner or nothing. So I just didn't want to have that broken bottle sitting around. And my lighting here stinks. So sadly you won't be able to catch that complete. Unless I can turn on my enable. Okay, so you can't, I don't know how Claire does it, but yeah, so, I don't have a flashlight either, <laughs> so I can't show you, but um, I'm going to pause, of course, and in the abyss, ugh, and do my second coat, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back with the second coat, and I found a flashlight, so let me see. <laughs> First one is Infinite Galaxy. A lot of these are going to dry down dull, so you're going to want a top coat. Um, so you can kind of see the hollow, kind of. That's what is a scattered hollow. is Sapphire Galaxy. This is going to dry just a slightly textured. So you are going to want a nice top coat. And sadly, I can really see that hollow. But you can catch some of it there. Next is Eternal. And it's kind of bugging the camera. So there's the pretty blue with a pink flash, and there's some scattered hollow in there. And 
Next we have the edge of the abyss, hollow, or H. And even if you can't get any of the shift, who cares? Look at it, it's beautiful. And you can see some of that hollow. Beautiful. Next up is this one called Her Name is Pousset. And you can see the hollow there. You can see the linear rainbow, it's beautiful. And then when the light hits it, it just comes alive. Trying to get this camera to angle right for the flashlight to angle right. Next up is Always, and it's a beautiful bright purple with the blue flash and some scattered hollow. And because these are from a neon collection, naturally they're going to dry a little matte. This next one is Blue Lagoon, and it is just a metallic and it's not brush strokey. It has a nice thick formula, so you might be able to get away if your nails have some flaws. <laughs> this next one is Sapphire. This one dries pretty dull. And this is the thermal, but this is in its normal state. So, um, and it also has that scattered hollow in there. And I can see the hollow can't get you guys to see it all right whatever so this next one is baby's cup blue eyes this one is a micro glitter so it's going to dry textured it is textured and there's the hollow and lastly is the rainbow river okay and there's the hollow So that is it guys for my pretty perfect review. Um, again, I will link all of the info for them down below. So make sure you're following her on Instagram to stay up to date with all of her updates and collection releases and everything that's going to be released in the U.S. Um, like I said, if you like any of these, I'm pretty sure these are all going to be stocked on the U.S. website. But if you really like them and you're not sure, go ahead and comment on the video down below what you'd like to see. Go check out her um, original Instagram. And if there's a polish there that you would like to see make it to the U.S. website, go ahead and comment on it. Um, just right now she's going on popularity uh, because it is quite expensive to send back and forth um so hopefully hopefully we can make it a go for the u.s and you guys can get your hands on some pretty perfect eventually i would like to branch out to possibly bring in some more uk brands but that's a little bit down the road yet so we're not really pushing it here um yeah so let me know which was your favorite and um you what you would like to see stocked and i will see you all next time i'll talk to you later bye